Hi guys, so in this video we will talk about using leaves in your aquarium. It's autumn outside, at least in uh, northern hemisphere, and it's a great time to collect uh, leaf litter for your fish tank. Some of you might ask uh, why do uh, we need to use leaf litter in our aquariums? What are the benefits of using leaves in our aquariums? Well, uh, there are a number of uh, benefits, but I will focus on just two major uh, reasons. So the first one is that a lot of fish that we keep in our aquariums actually live in the wild, in habitats with a lot of leaf litter. For example, apistos, uh, small tetras, uh, corridoras, catfish, lots of smaller species of catfish. They spend most of their lives uh, living, uh, breeding and uh, raising the young among the leaf litter. So leaf litter uh, on the bottom of your fish tank is something that would make this fish very comfortable. That's where they will spawn, that's where they will spend most part of their lives. Not only it looks natural when you have lots of leaves uh, on the bottom of your fish tank, not only it looks like uh, nature, but also it makes your fish more comfortable uh, because they have access to this uh, shelter wh where they can hide. Also decaying leaf matter, leaf litter matter on the bottom of your tank, it will create this beneficial environment for all sorts of uh, bacteria uh, to, to thrive. And that's what the fry of your fish can feed on. Uh, very often uh, in my tanks I had lots of different species of apistos breeding in tanks with leaf litter on the bottom and the fry will often survive entirely on all sorts of infusoria and bacteria that uh, leave uh, among the leaf litter. So a uh, leaf litter will also provide some uh, initial uh, fry food for your fish. Well, the other reason why uh, we can use leaves in our aquarium is because many types of leaves uh, will leach tannins. Yes, they will c uh, color the water, so they will create so-called black water. Uh, the water will be colored, tea colored or coffee colored, depends on how many leaves or what types of leaves uh, you are using. Uh, tannins uh, will acidify your water. This is particularly beneficial for soft water fish, uh, South American, Southeast Asian or uh, West African soft water fish that require generally very acidic water conditions and adding leaves, constantly adding fresh leaves will uh, increase the acidity of your water and potentially will reduce the hardness of your water. Of course it's not going to change your uh, pH dramatically and over a prolonged period of time but it will nevertheless acidify your water and it will slightly increase its softness. Uh, depending on where you you leave where you would probably have access to different types of leaves. In my case I'm currently and uh, most of the time consistently using um, generally three types of leaves or four types of leaves but I have here only three types of leaves. These are oak leaves. I uh, have collected them myself in an area, in a wooded area away from any sort of uh, human activity away from major roads away from farms so these are kind of a uh, average sized oak leaves they also can be larger and they can be smaller but this is what i could find and i've collected quite a lot of it and i've added a lot to my fish tank so over here i have a uh, magnolia leaves uh, unfortunately i have no access to magnolia trees anywhere near us so i have to order this stuff on ebay and fortunately uh, I was lucky these leaves are clean and from a very reli seemingly reliable source. I have used them in my tanks and uh, there was no problems. They may not look particularly appealing when they're dry. They look kind of scruffy. But uh, once they uh, become wet and they actually soak quite fast and they sink quite fast. Unlike for example oak leaves which will float for like uh, several days, maybe a week before they will sink. Magnolia leaves will soak almost, uh, I would say, on the second day, sometimes on the third day, and they will uh, go straight to the bottom of your tank really fast. And once uh, they are there, they will look amazing. They become really dark brown, uh, blackish, and they look like a tropical 
foliage uh, like leaves from uh, tropical plants so they create this natural look on the bottom of your tank it's different obviously with oak leaves because oak leaves look like oak leaves and they don't particularly look like South American biotope or Southeast Asian biotope, but nevertheless. So I w what I usually do, I mix uh, magnolia leaves with oak leaves and uh, that creates a fairly natural look. Also, I occasionally use birch leaves, but I don't currently have them. I collected some, but I've used them up uh, already, so I don't have any birch leaves at the moment, but they're also quite great and uh, uh, they have very nice shape uh, it takes them longer to uh, sink to the bottom of your tank and uh, they don't leach as many tannins as for example magnolia leaves because magnolia leaves are quite rich in tannins and they can color up your water quite significantly not so much the case with oak leaves they don't leach too many tannins uh, and they hardly leach any tannins at all over here I have katapa leaves or Indian almond leaves. Probably most of you are familiar with katapa, so I don't really need to talk about it. Quite a lot of us are using these uh, leaves. I usually buy these leaves in bulk from Sri Lanka. I order them on eBay and they arrive in this excellent condition, excellent shape. They kind of all, they're certainly large. And if you have a shrimp tank or a nano tank, you can order also nano leaves or mini leaves. Uh, they're called uh, differently uh, but these are uh, relatively large leaves and uh, they will uh, take quite a lot of time to sink to the bottom of your tank uh, but they will leach a lot of tannins and they will acidify your water possibly better than any other type of leaves that I've talked about so katapa leaves are certainly a great way to uh, color up your water to create black water habitat uh, and to acidify your water so let's imagine you have collected your own leaf litter in uh, in a nearby forest or anywhere else in in nature or you have bought them online uh, how to prepare them to use them in your fish tank well some people boil their leaves uh, prior to adding them to their tanks and i've done that quite a few times as well just to disinfect them and to possibly to remove anything uh, bad like chemicals that could be on these leaves but one thing that i did discover is that after i boil my leaves uh, they become really kind of a soft and uh, they don't last too long in uh, aquarium they would probably last for a week so they will start decaying and it, it just doesn't make any sense to use these leaves because uh, boiling them and keeping them in your tank for just a week uh, and replacing them afterwards is just too much work i have also tried uh, using leaves uh, particularly the ones that I've bought on eBay without boiling them. And a few times uh, everything was fine, but one last time that I've done that, and here's a video to what happened after that, I basically poisoned most of the fish that I've had in that tank where I added those leaves. So I certainly do not uh, buy just uh, regular like oak or birch leaves on eBay and add them to my tank without treating them even for those leaves that I collect myself and I'm more or less confident that they come from clean areas they come from areas that are away from any sort of human activities and are not very likely to have any chemicals pesticides uh, fertilizers on them I'm, I'm still uh, treating them um, before I add them to my tank so what I'm currently doing is I'm pre-soaking these leaves before I add them to my fish tanks. So I just uh, put them in a bucket with water, just a regular tap water, and I keep them here for uh, about a couple of weeks. I change this water every two days. You can see that now it's a bit murky. I haven't changed it for two days actually. Uh, these are mostly, no, these are only oak leaves. And it, actually I have like branches, for example, this is a relatively large branch. I will add it to my display tank with discos and altum angels and should look quite good. I uh, have a few other branches here and I have leaves in here as well. Uh, 
so yeah these are mostly oak leaves and as you can see they don't release too much tannins so they don't color the water it's kind of a greenish but it's not black it's clearly not a black water so if you don't want your water to turn black after you add leaf litter you can go for oak leaves or birch leaves because they don't leach too many tannins as compared to magnolia leaves or catapa leaves and uh, yes yeah, so i keep uh, these leaves here for a couple of weeks changing water by daily and after that I, I add them to my fish tanks and so far i've been doing that for about a month in case of these particular leaves which i collected uh, about a month ago and it's been safe i mean i haven't lost any fish and everyone looks uh, healthy and happy so i, I would say that this source uh, this place where i collected these leaves is probably safe at least for now well the other thing you might be wondering is that it's better well i actually have sorry uh, quite a few tweaks here as well they look very natural after i add them to my tanks uh, pretty much it's a type of driftwood but more naturally looking that all sorts of uh, dr driftwood that we have in fish stores so it is better to collect uh, leaves that have fallen off the trees rather than cut off uh, leaves from the trees because the leaves on trees are still uh, fresh they're green uh, they will take forever to actually uh, dry dry down and it will take forever to prepare them for your fish tank so it's better to collect already dry leaves uh, also i prefer to collect uh, leaves that have uh, fallen quite i'm trying to find some examples i don't think i have no i don't uh, there were some greenish or actually you can see it here there are some leaves that were still green i mean this whole branch has fallen off i didn't cut it off the tree it has fallen off itself and some of these leaves were still quite fresh so they were greenish and you can see that here they're still green i dried them up for about a week before soaking them but they're still green and it will take a while for them to actually become brownish and uh, look like they're dry so yeah it's better not to collect fresh leaves uh, like green leaves because uh, they might have too much moisture on them and they just uh, they won't look good in your fish tank in the first place all right there are other issues that i wanted to talk about if uh, you have too much flow in your tank and uh, um, if uh, you don't really want to have this leaves uh, leaf litter in your tank for example this is my display tank and it has quite a bit of flow it, it, there's not too much flow you can see it doesn't c carry away the fish but nevertheless there is some flow so whenever i add any leaves to this fish tank they just get carried away to the uh, back of the fish tank they kind of uh, you can see catapa leaves there in the back and there are some magnolia leaves as well so they just all blown away to the back of this tank so it doesn't really make sense adding them in here so what you can do in that case is you can add leaves uh, to your sump or to your external canister filter in my case i have a sump here so i uh, generally put some catapa leaves in my sump uh, they don't float in here but nevertheless they still release tannins and they still do all the good stuff that they're supposed to do without actually floating around in the tank being carried away by the flow and sometimes i add quite a lot of these catapa leaves in here but now i have just a few and once uh, i feel that they start decomposing and they no longer release any tannins and uh, they don't longer they no longer acidify water i will remove and replace them all right so i hope this video was useful uh please uh leave your comments what types of uh, leaves you are using in your fish tanks and uh, uh, if you had any experiences with using leaf litter in your aquariums and i'll see you soon